Dividend stocks, dividend income, dividend investing, dividend growth. You can have all of them even with a smaller account. Grow your investment account and your dividend income 2x, 3x and more. Here is the proof and I will show you how you can do it in three simple steps. Hello, welcome back. My name is David Dance and you are watching my YouTube channel Think and Retire. In this channel, I talk about building wealth and income from the stock market. If you find this video helpful, please like and share. And if you have not subscribed to my channel yet, please do so and press the bell icon so that you are notified whenever I upload new videos. Please keep in mind that this video is for educational purposes only and not a recommendation to buy or sell any stocks. Please do your own research before investing. In this video, I'm going to talk about four stocks that I started investing in 2008. I invested very smaller amounts from 2008 to 2015. The first stock on my list is Bank of Montreal. It provides diversified financial services, mainly in North America. It was founded in 1817, more than 200 years ago and based out of Montreal in Canada. You're looking now at a five-year chart. The market cap is $94 billion. The forward dividend yield is 4.81%. The payout ratio is 69.51% and the price to book value is 1.17. Bank of Montreal has the longest running dividend payout record of any Canadian company at 195 years, believe it or not. They're paying dividends for 195 years. This is the historical dividend chart of 15 years and the 15 year dividend CAGR, which is the compound annual growth rate is 5%. I have started investing in this company in November, 2008 and I have contributed a little bit at a time until April 2015. I did not contribute any new money since April 2015. The average share price of my purchase was $61.67. Today the share price of Bank of Montreal is $128.95 Canadian dollars. So the price of the share has appreciated 2.09x. But because I was reinvesting all the dividends, my capital appreciation has been 3.5x. If I would have invested $1,000, say for example, in April 2015, the capital would have been $3,500 today. So it's a 3.5x capital appreciation, 2.09x share price, and the dividend amount, what I was, I was getting before, say it was $100. Today, that dividend has been $286. So 2.86x dividend appreciation. The compound annual growth rate of the total return is 15.02, which I think is pretty good. The share price appreciation is 8.54. And for the dividend, the CAGR is 12.38%. The second stock on my list is Bank of Nova Scotia. It provides various banking products and services in Canada, the US, Mexico, Peru, Chile, Colombia, Caribbean, Central America, and internationally. It was founded in 1832 and based out of Toronto in Ontario. You're looking at the five-year chart. The market cap is $64.9 billion. The forward dividend yield is 6.06%. The payout ratio is 74.26%. And the price to book value is 1.22. I started investing in this company since November 2008 and I have contributed smaller amounts until December 2014. My average purchase price was $59.47. These are all Canadian dollars. On October 25th, 2024, which is the last business day, the closing price was $71.99. So the share price appreciation is only 1.21x. It has increased from 59.47 to 71.99. But my total return, say for example, if I have contributed $100 in total, up to December 2014, today that value is $214. So 2.14x capital appreciation. So that gives a compound annual growth rate is 7.91%. And the dividend income, if I was getting $100 in January 2015, that dividend income would have increased to $258, which is 2.58x with a compound annual growth rate of 9.94%. Bank of Nova Scotia declared its first dividend on July 1st, 1833. 
and payments have been made since then. I couldn't find any historical chart of the dividend payments, but this is the list of the dividends that it paid since 2008. The third stock on my list is Fortis Inc. I started investing in November 2008 and I have invested smaller amounts until September 2015. Fortis Inc. with the ticker symbol FTS, it operates as an electric and gas utility company in Canada, US and the Caribbean countries. It was formed in 1885 and it's based out of St. John's, Canada. Now you're looking at the five-year chart. Market cap is 30.7 billion Canadian dollars. The yield is 4.04%. The payout ratio is 73.2% and the price to book is 1.43. My average purchase price of this stock was $31.04. Today, on October 25th closing, the price is $60.89. So the price of the share has appreciated 1.9x, which is 7.76% compound annual growth rate. But the total return is outstanding. If I have invested $100 by September 2015, that money would have grown to $300 today which gives me 12.98% compound annual growth rate. And the dividend income, if I was getting $100 at the time in 2015 December, that dividend would have grown to $221 in 2024, which gives me 9.21% compound annual growth rate. And this is the dividend history of FTS. Just impressive. The fourth and the last stock on my list is Imperial Oil. It engages in exploration, production and sale of crude oil and natural gas in Canada. This was incorporated in 1880 in Calgary, Canada and it's a subsidiary of ExxonMobil Corporation. The market cap is $56.65 billion. The dividend yield is only 2.27%, but wait, what you will see will blow your mind. The payout ratio is only 23.06% and the price to book is 2.37. I initially started investing in November 2008 and I have invested very smaller amounts on a regular basis until April 2015. My average purchase price was $39.31. Today on market close on October 25, 2024, the, uh, the share price is $105.72. So the share price have increased by 2.69x, which is 11.62% compound annual growth rate. But now look at the total return. If I have invested $100 in April 2015, that money would have grown to $310. That's 3.10x in October 2024. That's 13.40% compound annual growth rate. And now look at the dividend income. This will blow your mind. If I would have received $100 in dividend payment in July 2015, that money, the dividend income would have grown to $575 today, which is 5.75x without contributing any additional money since 2015. And that's 21.45% compound annual growth rate. That's amazing. And this is the dividend history of Imperial Oil since 2008. So this is exactly what happens when you invest in good quality dividend paying stocks and you invest consistently even though if it is a smaller amount and you have a bit of a long-term window. It basically can increase your investment amount and the dividend income by 2x, 3x and more. So how do you start? You can keep it very simple. The best way to get started is to just look at TSX 60 stocks on the Canadian side and Dow 30 stocks on the US side. If you are from any other country, just look at the major index of your, of your country and see what are the stocks in that particular index. Then you sort them into market cap. So you look from the highest market cap to the lowest and look for each stock's dividend history for how long they've been paying dividend, whether they have been consistent. And if you like the company, or you think it has a long-term potential, you just start investing. But the main thing is you have to invest on a regular basis and you have to have some kind of a very long-term window. So there you have it. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you find this video useful, please like and share. And if you have not subscribed to my channel yet, please do so and press the bell icon so that you are notified whenever I upload new videos. Thank you for watching again and I'll see you next time. Happy investing.